Hey y'all, today I wanna to show you my pool setup. I wanna show you how you can take your cheap Intex swimming pool and make it into something that you and your family can truly enjoy. Y'all stick around and we'll get with it. What we're gonna talk about first is the filtration on your pool. The filtration is the most important part of keeping your pool clean and enjoyable. And most of these little pools come with something that is way too small for the pool, especially a pool of this size. So generally speaking, you wanna upgrade right away. Your pump that comes with it is not gonna be good enough in my experience. Now, if you're having a good experience with yours, great on you, I've never had them. And I can tell you, this is the 16 inch sand filter from Intex with the salt water generator and pump together in one. And it keeps this pool sparkling clean with little to no maintenance at all, other than vacuuming and skimming it. Now I don't have sand in this filter. I've got the filter balls, but I don't have the real filter balls. I've got the cheap one on, on Amazon and they are actually working great. I've heard a lot of bad things about them. I've only backwashed this, this filter one time. Uh, take that back. I've backwashed it twice in the last two months, but it keeps the pump running at a good pressure and the water, if you'll take a look, is crystal clear. And I have not added any chemicals to this pool since opening it, just salt. The next most important step to keeping your pool crystal clear and sparkling is a skimmer. And these pools, for some ungodly reason, don't come with a skimmer. I have installed this Hayward skimmer and I've done a video on it. And I'll put a link right up here in the corner so you can go check that one out. But this is really important in keeping your pool clean as well. It just makes it a whole lot easier to get all the debris off the top of the pool and it gives you some separation between your discharge and your intake and get some circulation going through this pool. Now, speaking of discharges, for this pool, I have two different water features that I can use. I have right now, you can see the Intex LED waterfall running and it makes a very nice, peaceful, relaxing sound. Now, I have this valve here and we can switch it over to my pool fountain. Now, this little pool fountain is really neat it's got an adjustable regulator on it, so you can change how far it sprays. You can change all the angles. You can change everything on it. And I'll tell you, my little granddaughter likes to play under it. So this is the, this is the only two ones that, that I have. I don't even have a, a discharge that comes underneath the surface of the water. Both of my discharges will be from the top. They're coming from the top. And that allows a couple of things. The, uh, the aeration, the spraying of the water helps keep your pool cool. These pools down here in South Louisiana, it's gonna be 95 degrees today. This thing will get bathtub hot if you don't take some precautions to keep it cooler. Which brings me to my next point. I have a sun sail that I keep above this pool. Now, this one is about five years old and it's not looking very good, but it still works. It keeps the midday sun off of my pool and it also keeps my light ginger cell from getting too burnt while we're in the pool. Now, on the subject of shades, you'll see up on my pool deck, I have two 14-foot umbrellas. This is a 30-foot pool deck that I've built, and these two umbrellas cover pretty much the entire pool, uh, the entire deck, excuse me, when the sun's up overhead. And what's really great is that as the, the sun starts to go down in the west, this is the west facing, it casts a shadow almost over my entire pool, which again helps keep it clean, uh, cool, excuse me. And the deck as well, when the sun is going down, getting to the afternoon, it also casts a shadow on the bottom of my pool, which is another way to keep it cool. So even in the, the middle of the summertime, when it's 97, 98 degrees out here, this pool is gonna stay a comfortable 83, 84 degrees, and it's really nice. A cool little product that I bought is these little baskets. I have a couple of them situated around the pool. They're really good for holding your cell phone or your Coke or your beer, your water, whatever you want, any type of beverage you got. You need to put some sunblock on while you're in the pool, have it sitting right here. This is really easy, especially if you don't have a deck. I highly suggest getting a couple of these. They come in quite handy. Something else I've always kept on my pool is these little Robo cup holders. They're spring loaded. Give you a nice little place to put your beverage or your sunblock. To me, these little pools are nice, but you gotta have a deck. You really do. If they're just standalone, it's, it, 
when your kids are in it or your grandkids are in it, you want to be able to just sit down and look down on them. You don't want to be standing up over the side of the pool. So what my wife and I built together is this. This is an eight by 30 deck. So this is a 24 foot pool. It covers the entire length of the pool. And it allowed me six feet on this end to put the stairs. Now my future plans, I'll probably do in a month or two, is to come out with a deck to go and make an L shape on this corner of the pool. This deck makes a really nice place for everyone to sit. And I'll talk about these real quick. These are a couple of zero gravity lounge chairs that I got on Amazon. These things are good for 350 pounds. So they'll even hold me. And they're really cheap. They were like $60. Check them out. Now. What you want to remember when you're building a deck, the first one I had on my first pool was a little too narrow. It was only about four feet wide. So once you put your chairs down and you had people sitting, it was hard to walk around. So make sure you're building something with enough room so you can walk around everybody. Now, another major upgrade that's going to really create a situation where you can enjoy your pool a lot more instead of those rickety ladders you know they come with is this is a set of Confer curved steps. Now these steps are pricey. This is the four-step model. Don't be fooled into buying a three-step model unless you have a shallow end on your pool. For a four-foot pool, you need the four steps. Pretty much a foot per step. These really make it enjoyable. I hate those rickety ladders. I feel like Martin Lawrence on Bad Boys 2 in his above ground swim pool. Get my screwdriver. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But these things are really sturdy. In fact, I'm gonna show you right now. I'm a big boy, I'm weighing in at 300 pounds, and these things hold me up really well. No issues at all. You're gonna fill them up with sand, they're gonna be a little heavy to put in the pool, because you can't put them together in the pool. But fully installed, it's gonna weigh about 200 pounds with the sand in it. And as long as I'm standing in the pool, you'll notice I have a little pool robot running around keeping my pool clean right now. That's another one towards maintenance. This is a little wide bot. It's doing a great job. Keep your pool sparkling clean. But I'll have a link to these steps, man. I really suggest looking into these if you have a deck. Now these are all pricey. These are about $700. In my opinion, the $700 is worth it. It really makes your pool a lot more enjoyable. It truly increases the safety of your pool because these are just really nice. The, the la get, get rid of that ladder, do it now. And another bonus is my little granddaughter, she's only about a year old. She obviously can't touch the bottom of a four foot pool, but she can stand right here with us on these steps and play around and really enjoy herself. These little robotic vacuums work really good, but something to keep on you or to keep with you to use for your pool is a little handheld rechargeable pool vac. Your little pool robots are not gonna get in the corners of these pools very well the way they're made, and they obviously won't be able to get behind a set of steps like this. So this particular one is from Inhulk. I'll have a, a link to it in the description, but it works really well. Let me go ahead and vacuum behind these steps and I'll show you what we get. Oh, getting attacked by the little pool robot. So this little thing's got a really powerful motor. You can see just real quick going around them steps what it's picked up. So something like this is something you want to keep anytime you got one of these little above ground pools. Something else everybody needs by the pool is music. And I highly recommend this Soundbox Go. I've got a review on that as well and I'll put a link up here. I was a little hard on it at, in the beginning. It truly comes into its own when you get it outside. This thing, the battery on it will last a week, truly a whole week, and it is a really good addition to your pool to have some nice tunes. So I know these pools, they do start off pretty cheap, and once you start doing things like this to your pool to make it more enjoyable, it does become more expensive. But what's great about them is for an intro price, you can really get a pool and begin to build it to suit your family. We have five kids that all have either wives or spouses and we have grandchildren. And with this deck, we can bring everybody out here for a crawfish boil or, or anything and just enjoy our time together as a family. And that's something I really love doing and I highly suggest you do it for yourself. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. 
please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I got plenty of pool videos, audio stuff. I have all kinds of stuff out there. I probably got something you want to watch. So uh, till next time, I'll see y'all on Everyday Man.